Oh my god. So, uh, just got into Brooklyn, um, driving over to a warehouse to look at sample slabs of the Neolith. So, I've got two selections I love for the kitchen, I've got two selections I love for the bar, and I've got something I think I'm completely dialed on for the outdoor kitchen, but I still am going to look at, at, there's basically two variations um, within the same, same design family. Um, so Neolith is a sintered stone, super durable stone, uh, non-porous, uh, all of these great low maintenance qualities, features that uh, give you both a great aesthetic and very low cost of ownership slash maintenance. So uh, we'll be there in a little bit and we'll jump into it. All right, so what is sintered stone exactly? Um, basically, it's the process of creating rocks that usually takes, what, millions of years, boiled down to a couple of hours. Um, that's what these guys have figured out how to do. So basically, they use super high pressure, super high heat, and really high quality natural materials. I think they're almost 100% carbon neutral at this point. I know they're working towards that. Whatever they figured out in this process, the colors are so vibrant, the patterns and the veining is so realistic. When you see the Neolith slabs in person, it really does read true to life. So if you're looking for countertops, I would highly recommend seeing these in person before you make up your mind. Oh, oh, oh. You guys got a little bit of stone here. <laughs> This is super freaking cool. Oh man. Look at that veining. I said on the walk here, you gotta see it in person. I'm gonna 100% stand by that. Um, this is absolutely incredible. You, when you compare Neolith with natural stone, yeah. Uh, there's no other man-made product that compares to natural stone in the way it looks, feels, and performs. You know? People already love natural stone, and they're looking for, okay, I have to deal with this, I have the stains and all of those things. Now, this comes here, a product that looks exactly like natural stone, if not better in some cases, and gives you all those benefits. And when you think about man-made products, you kind of have all these questions about uh, you know, chemicals and resins and all that stuff. This is made just like natural stone but only faster. What are, the, what are the minimum, three mil? Three millimeters of thinnest and they make, you can, which is about an eighth of an inch thick. So, right? you, so you can clad kitchen cabinets? Yes, we do. That's sick. Kitchen cabinets, even walls. Limited application, but we can do walls. A full slab of marble weighs like 600 pounds. This is about three pounds a square foot. Two oh. people can pick it up. All right, so this is the Himalaya crystal. God, it's both gorgeous, man. So I thought I was sure, and now I'm not sure. This is really beautiful. Oh, man. Ah. Oh my god. It looks exactly like wood. Like, exactly like wood. This, I'm considering for the outdoor kitchen uh, to go on top of the urban bonfire cabinets. Uh, those two are spec in black. Uh, they call it Onyx in their product line, the powder-coated black outdoor cabinets. This is gonna look insane. Insane. Oh, 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 oh that's so cool. Okay, so this, is what I'm considering for the bar. Um, holy sh This is unreal. I mean. That is 
incredible. All right, cool. So I think we're good then. Okay, That's perfect. everything. Perfect. Much appreciated. Thank, Thank you, you for all the time, especially the information. Um, I, you know, every time a new product comes on the market, it's great to learn about sure. the benefits of it. Sure. Obviously, Neolith is uh, top of their game. So excited to get it into the project. Um, I'll reach out when it's time, no and we'll. Whenever uh, you're ready, you know, we're yeah. happy to help out. Uh, no, maybe we'll go through helping selection layout, whatever you need. No? Yeah, layouts always, because yeah. I, I really want to like get you know get all the. Yeah. Um, the veining in the right spots. Right. I'm just finalizing my shop drawings for my kitchen and my indoor kitchen and my uh, bar. Okay. Outdoor kitchen shops are done, so okay. I can you know I'll just wait until I have everything together, get them to you, sure. and then we can do a layout. No problem. Awesome, man. I, I appreciate it again. Thank Thanks you. so much. Pleasure. I'll go out the back. Sure, sure. Yeah, All right, great. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Right. Take care. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so Zaha is 100% for the bar, no question. Uh, the La Bohème, 100% for the outdoor ki kitchen, no question. The only thing I gotta decide on is between the Abu Dhabi white and the Himalayan crystal. Uh, those two are both absolutely gorgeous, uh, and I just don't know which way I wanna go yet. I took photos, I took a little video on my iPhone, I'm gonna talk to JC about it, and really, in my head, I'm deciding between that pure white background that's gonna give me a beautiful, that pure white background that's gonna give me a beautiful, crisp contrast between the Neolith stone itself and the, the, the matte black cabinets versus with the Himalayan crystal, kind of that more old world, see the grays and the crystallization within the stone which quite honestly makes it look much more like a natural stone. And in my mind makes it a little more rustic. The beautiful thing is I don't really think I can make a mistake. It's just which one I love more and want to really see in the kitchen. Um, and of course I want to get JC's opinion along with that as well because I want her to love it as much as I do. Um, so really excited. A lot of great information from these guys. They've got a serious operation. Uh, and you heard him say, you know, he can help me with the layouts. Um, you know, that's really key when you want to maximize the beauty of the veining and, and make sure those big prominent veins are in really cool spots in the kitchen where people can enjoy them and see them uh, really easily. So uh, all in all, super successful morning. Get back home, pack up. We're heading back to the mountains.